Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today, and if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure to drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated, but either way, here we are in Doofer Town, because today we need to go ahead and make our way to Slateport City, so we can give the Devon goods to like Captain Stern or something. I don't know all the specific details, but it's something like that. But either way, the team, I did do a little bit of training up on the newest members. And I will talk about that in a second because we do have Mercury, the Nido Queen here. the Steel type with the Suction Cups ability with Octazooka, Sleep Powder, Blast Bird, and Hydro Cannon. And one thing I do want to talk about really quickly is that you guys have been pointing out that the stats are randomized. Yes, I know. I've been trying to fix it. Well, we have been trying to fix it, Mizumi and I, and honestly, like, it wasn't supposed to happen. It was an accident. Uh, we didn't want stats to be randomized, but I guess it happened, and we're just gonna deal with it. I mean, it's not really that bad, and actually, it's kind of cool if you think about it. Like, some of our team members, like Manectric, for example, if you look at its attack stat, it's actually higher than its special attack, and how often do you see, like, physical attacking Manectric? So, I feel like that could be pretty cool. Um, we're just gonna bite the bullet, I guess, and handle it for the rest of the playthrough. I don't know, so if you don't like that, my apologies, but it probably won't ever happen again. Uh, but either way, Needle Queen does have Octazooka, Sleep Powder, Blast Burn, and Hydro Cannon. Then we have Cheeks, the Raticate with Horn Drill, Low Kick, Lock On, and Hyper Voice. You guys were pointing out that I should teach Lock On to this Raticate, and why not? We got Horn Drill plus Lock On. It's extremely broken. Don't get me wrong, so I don't think we'll be abusing it that much, but. Let's just use it now for a little bit. Just see if we can have some fun. Holding the Silk Scarf, Levitate Ability, Water Type. Then we got Glide, the Altaria with Grass and Normal Typing, Intimidate Ability, Twisted Spoon with Razor Leaf, Sleep Powder, Future Sight, and Dig. Then we got Hot Rod, the Benectric, our Starter, still going strong, thankfully. Blizzard, Light Screen, Double Edge, and Rock Blast. Of course, Grass and Steel with the Immunity Ability. And then we got Holland, the Eridos. Ghost Typing, Damp Ability, you already know, Side Beam, Shadow Punch, Fake Out, and Giga Drain, and that's what we got. So, this episode, we can go get a couple encounters, and before we go to Slateport, I actually want to go get an encounter. So, we're going to go back to Petalburg, we're going to head north to go to Rustboro. We're going to scoop up the EXP share from Mr. Stone, oh, isn't it Mr. Stone? I don't know what his name is. Um, we're going to do that, and then we're going to go north and fish. That's the plan for right now, so I'm just gonna speed this up because it's gonna take forever. I had to remap my uh, speed up button because normally it's this button right here, the bumper. I don't even know if you can hear it, but it makes like a squeaking noise. Let me see if I can... I don't know. It was squeaking earlier and I was like, I cannot have this, so I switched it. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't want to squeak now, so I can switch it back if I want. Alright, uh, oh, if I have cut, there's actually that secret part. Well, it's not really that secret because it's pretty obvious, but I usually never go into it. There's a little part in... um. In the forest where you can cut and then get a, a miracle seed. Obviously items are randomized, so I don't know what we would get, but if I want to teach cut, I could. Barboach is such a confusing Pokemon. I don't know what its mouth is and what its eye is. Like, it's, it's so confusing. Like, is its mouth its eye? Or is that just a mouth? I, I don't know. There's also that cut bush right there. I should probably get that item, but I don't really want to teach cut to any of my teammates right now or team members. Because I'm not on the team. I control the team. Alright, EXP share right here. Uh, one thing I do want to say really quickly is that I just want to thank you guys for like the overwhelming support on this series. Not just like, you know, views, likes, but in the comments. You guys are, the words are so nice saying that this series is great and stuff. It just makes me so happy to know that you guys are enjoying. Thank you all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. I don't know what it is about this series, but it seems like a lot more people are enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for letting me know that you're enjoying the content. Makes me, you know, feel like there's a purpose to it, you know? So uh, yeah, that's basically all I want to say about it. It's kind of awkward for me to bring that up, but I'm done. I'm done. We're getting this encounter now. <laughs> We're going straight up here. I think I already got the item, so I don't have to, anything to be excited about. Except for the fact that we're about to get the most broken Pokemon in the world. Come on, it's time for something broken. It's time for something broken. Please. <sighs> Not exactly. Okay, well... I mean, the good thing is, is that... It evolves, and it could evolve into not a Ledian, so... That's a plus. That's a plus, definitely. Alright, uh, might be just, just a good option to just start chucking Pokeballs. Can't be that hard to catch a Letaba. Really, it can't. So, uh... Hey! Alright. Letaba was caught. What do I name this thing? The 
five star Pokemon. I'm gonna name it a uh, five star. Name it high five. <laughs> high five. Yes. All right. We got high five. I'm gonna spell it like this though, just so it looks like it's one word. All right, there we go. So we got high five the Letty, but not on the team, by the way. It's just here right now before we put in the PC. Swift Swim, Fighting in Dark. It's a Scrafty. Megahorn. All right, so what's up with all these Pokemon having Sleep Powder? It seems like in other playthroughs, it's so hard for me to get Pokemon that know status moves or moves that, you know, give status conditions to opposing Pokemon. But we have like three in this playthrough that know Sleep Powder. Altaria, Needle Queen. And this thing that we just caught, this Letiba, so... I don't know what it is, man, but... I mean, I'll take it, for sure. I would actually prefer to have, like, Toxic or, like, Will-O-Wisp or something over... Having Sleep Powder three times, but you know what? It's okay, game. Beggars can't be choosers. Not at all. Alright, I'm so upset that this is a... This is the same route as the route before Petalburg Woods. I don't know why they did that. Because you could get an encounter right there. There's grass. It's kind of aggravating, but whatever, man. All right, now we're back to Dooford, so we can go right back to Slateport, or not back to- Oh my god, okay. Why couldn't we have gotten this? Uh, I probably would have killed it anyways. Or I probably would have killed it, or I just wouldn't have been able to catch it. So it's not like it really matters, but why? I would have loved to use a Raikou. I really would have. Ahoy, I know exactly what you want to say. Uh, you're to deliver- Yeah, I- Wow, I actually- You did know exactly what I wanted. I was kind of doubting, like, that you did, but- Mr. Brittany really got his stuff together. All right, we're going to Slateport now. So we can get an encounter right when we get there on the water, um, as well as north of Slateport before like the all the grunts and stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. <laughs> but I don't know how else to describe it. Like there are, there's a bunch of evil grunts. I can't remember if it's Team Aqua or Team Magma, but I feel like I was gonna yawn right there, but I did it. Ahoy, we've landed in Slateport. I suppose you're going to visit the captain. Uh, captain Stern delivered. The Devon Goods. Probably. At some point I will. You can have this. The soft sand. Yay! We don't have any use for it really right now, but I figured I might as well pick up the item. Okay, I'm gonna skip these trainers just for now. I am gonna come back and fight them. Uh, actually, is there an item over here? Yeah, okay, I thought there was. Uh, I just wanna go get that encounter. And, you know, this encounter right here. Alright. Let's see what we got. Come on. Oh, a bike! All right, encounter, what route was this, 109? So shop it, okay. That's pretty cool, actually, I'll take that. I really do want to use a Binette. It kind of makes me upset because this is such a tease because it's not going to evolve into a Binette unless we get really, really lucky. <laughs> um, but it's probably not going to evolve into a Binette. So it's like, dang it, man, so close, but close, but no cigar, I guess. All right, shop it's asleep, so I'm just going to start chucking balls. That's what's kind of annoying about me grinding up my Pokemon. I can't really attack wild Pokemon now. Because I'll just kill them. Like, makes it a little more difficult to catch, harder to catch Pokemon. Like, it's fine for Shuff It. I can just put it to sleep and it'll be fine. Oh, I didn't nickname it. Good thing the name raider is right here. Perfect. That has never happened before. It's usually right before I get to Slate Porter. Right at the beginning of the game, I forget to nickname something. But it happens right when we're at the place where the name raider is. How convenient. I'm the name reader, and I don't want anyone in the comments like being all Mr. Technical. Like, um, actually, you lost the Nuzlocke because you didn't nickname your Pokemon. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I will cook you. Not really. All right, what shall be the new nick? Oh, the new nickname. Don't you mean the the nickname just in general? Um, same it Muppet. There we go. All right, let's check this thing out. Synchronized, normal type, uh... <laughs> Dynamic Punch and Hydro Pump. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Definitely not the best Pokemon in the world. I mean, hopefully its evolution will have potential or something. Um, because I definitely want to, like, evolve a lot of these Pokemon on the PC. Some people were talking about putting um, Geodude on the team because it evolves rather soon. And honestly, that sounds like a decent idea. But um, I just want to see if we can get these encounters so we can fill up that slot and like I would much rather have a fully evolved Pokemon on the team um, than have a Pokemon that will evolve and then possibly not be good. Oh my god, what is going on with these encounters? We got an Azuril. All right, I mean, I can't complain. Might as well catch it. There we go. 
Um, wait, is this dupes? No, I don't have a marrow. What am I? Okay, what do we need to name this thing though? What should I name this thing? Um, I'll name it Polka. No idea why. I just feel like it kind of fits. All right, let's check out Polka. Blaze, adamant natured. Jeez, okay. I mean, Sonic Boom early on is pretty good, but I don't know how good it would be right now. Hey there, Super It's Me. Dude, who is Bob? I don't even know. I didn't even know we gave our Pokenav thing to a dude named Bob. Who is Bob? He's called me three times. How does he have a Feralicator? What the? F this dude, Bob, is flexing. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we gotta put this thing in the PC. All right, get in there, buddy. All right, so we gotta talk to our homeboy, Captain Stern. Well, first we have to talk to the dude who's not Captain Stern, right? And he's right here. Yeah. If this goes here and that goes over here, then where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm. Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a fairy. Oh, that there. Are those the Devon goods? But... This won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Can I get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Sure thing. Sure thing. I just realized that we're about to get a TM from one of these, uh... Is it Aqua Grunts? I think I saw Aqua Grunts outside of the museum. Yeah. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 bucks. Oh my god. $50 for me to save this place from Team Aqua. Doesn't make sense to me. What are you doing here? I'm a Team Aqua member. Uh, you thumbed before. Just give me the TM. Please be good. Or at least just an attacking move. Hope I never see you again. Oh. That was rude. <laughs> it's charged. Dang it. All right, well. Only one thing left to do. Talk to our homeboy, Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you. That's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. Just when you thought you could get away with it. Hold it, we'll take those parts. Well, what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Such a, uh, such a trap and fork them over. I don't know who these people think they are coming in here, but... I guess we ought to shut our trap. Or shut our yap, I think he said. I don't know why I said trap, but... Fisher Liliana has a nose pass. Alright, Mercury. We gotta show what's going on. Training this thing, like grinding up Mercury off screen was so annoying because Blast Burn and Hydro Cannon, they were either miss or just not kill. So I had to keep recharging and it was so freaking difficult. So I'm trying to not have this thing die while also not trying to like waste as many ba I, I wanted to take the shortest amount of time as possible, but it's in like, I have to keep switching out because I almost die or like, I don't want to recharge. I don't know, leveling up with Mercury was awful. Like, the first couple levels when I had to only switch train and stuff like that. Once Mercury started one-shotting things, it was fine, but... That cave, the granite cave was just awful, honestly. On the second floor, they had Arcanines, and that was pretty good to grind on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't catch myself before I said that. That's what's really the... <laughs> That's the craziest part. I don't know how I didn't catch myself. All right, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what Cheeks can do right here. Oh no, that's super effective. Do I care though? I don't know. I don't think so. Look at this. Thunder Punch? You crazy. You hilarious. That's so funny. It's broken. I'm telling you, this is like... Like, I've made jokes about using lock-on and then one, uh, like, a one-hit KO move, but I didn't think it ever happened. Cheeks might just be, like, not Cheeks at all. Like, Cheeks is about to start becoming a mascot on this channel, bro. Look at Cheeks, dude. Does this look like the Pokemon that you want to mess with? Not at all. Jeez. Alright, uh. Let's go to Glide here. Why not? Oh, that wasn't that hard. Cheeks actually ascended to like beyond Nirvana. I don't know what happened to Cheeks, but Cheeks is now a god. I came to see what uh, was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child. I've never seen that word, simps. 
don't know what that means. We are Team Aqua and we love the sea. I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You weren't dressed for the part. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we, uh, what we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine, you're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Oh my god. You're okay, Super. I know I'm okay. And look at that. Here are the Devon Goods. I've been trying to give them to you for like 10 minutes, bro, but you just... <sighs> Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out the facilities, though. Oh, Annie heals our mons. What a nice captain. All right, I'm out of here now. Yeah, I paid 50 bucks. I should get my money back, honestly. I just saved him. Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, this trainer. Alright, I think you're going to become a good friend, so let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Alright, Scott. He's like a personal agent, that's what he really is. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Supra. I never really understood Scott. Like, I've seen the anime, right? I've seen Scott in the anime, like, in the Battle Frontier episodes. Like, I know who he is. I know what he does, but... If I had never seen the anime, he would just be such a random character. Like, he just seems so random. He never really... You get a, you don't really get a formal introduction until you get to, like, the Battle Frontier, right? So, he'd just be so random. I don't know. Oh, Super, imagine seeing you here. And where might maybe? Well, I know exactly where she is, but I guess you don't. She's just north. Like, come on, bro. Oh, I see. You are running separately. Uh, you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokenev had the match call system installed. Well, then I should register you in my Pokenev as well. That way, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex anytime. What makes you think I want you to rate my Pokedex, though? What makes you think that your opinion is so important to me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, when cute Pokemon help each other, you won't... Okay, well, I guess that's true. I can't really argue with that. I don't know if Sea King is really a cute Pokemon, though, bro. But, um... Totally see what you mean. Totally see what you mean. I really, really wish Raticate was a normal type still. This Hyper Voice would just be amazing. Uh... That's not gonna do much, yeah. I gotta keep track of everything. I'm trying to not speed up, but at the same time, I want a Horn Drill, and it's... Obviously, it's just gonna kill, so I can speed up. See? There we go. I should use some- I should stop using cheeks for a little bit. It's just too broken, man. That's why I want to use it. Like, I usually, like, don't overlevel my Pokemon. I make sure my Pokemon aren't broken. But... Why- <laughs> Who has two Stantlers? What? <laughs> okay. I've never met someone that likes Stantler that much, but... Sure, dude. Have fun. Do your thing. Alright, uh, let's use- let's use Hot Rod a little bit. Give our starter a chance. Alright, dude, we should do a contest. I don't know. Actually, no, isn't it the battle thing in Emerald? Is it the contest in Ruby and Sapphire and it's like the battle... What is it? Battle tent. That's right. So it isn't the contest. You can only do the contest in Lily Cove. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot about this area over here. I can't remember if you can get a TM or something. I just want to double check. And also, uh, I want to see if I can get some soda pops. Uh, because I want to do that now, but soda pops are so broken. They're really really cheap and it's like a super potion, right? It's 60. I think How many I serve you? Oh, just dolls. I don't need those. I never really got into like the secret basis thing like, In any of the games like in this one with the secret power or diamond and pearl with the underground or the hidden grottos Like I just never got into it. I don't know why Like it's a cool feature and people that like people can like pimp out their cribs. It's like MTV cribs Analyst Pie? Okay. Hot Rod. Let's, uh, let's just double edge. I want to go for double edge so, like, I want to go for it every single time. I feel like it's just going to kill every single Pokemon. Like, our attack is so much higher than our special attack set. It's just that recoil is so bad. And I can't be risking recoil every single turn. Alright, get out of there, Vulpix. Unless I can't be risking my Pokemon, though. Jeez. 
What am I doing? Let him get the yellow? Here's a camera up. <sighs> Giga Drain should. Oh, but. I feel like in this game alone, it's a lot harder for me to figure out what type the opposing Pokemon is. Like, if I remember in like X and Y and Alpha Sapphire, like, I, I could guess within like three or four tries with the occasional, like, I just don't guess at all and I have to toxic it or something like that. But this game, I just feel like I cannot guess what type the opposing Pokemon is. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm not thinking about it and I do have, that's probably it. I have the speed up button in this one. So I'm thinking about it less because I'm speeding up. I might have just woken myself up. I just felt my forehead blink. I have got my third eye open right now. I have been asleep my entire life until this moment. This dude got an inner tube and an onyx. Let's go. I have already talked enough trash about onyx over the course of all my playthroughs. It can't even pull himself out of a like a paper bag. That thing's attack stat is way too low. You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied. Oh, I'm so glad that I can satisfy you with my battles. Just give me these soda pops, dude. That's all I care about. Such a clutch item. All right, there we go. That's probably good enough. And I don't really see a point in taking on these trainers right now. We're already a little bit over leveled and I don't want to be over leveled for the May fight because that fight is supposed to be difficult and we're about to go do that right now. So let's just cross our fingers. and hope that we don't get absolutely destroyed. That's all I'm open for. All right. I really, really wish that the route split up here. It's so annoying that this is all the same route. Like, as soon as it goes over here, at least, it should go into a different route. Oh, it does. Wait, no, 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 it doesn't, because it's the same route as the other side. Right? Uh, do I not have a town map? I'm almost 100% sure it's the same- hold on, we're gonna go over to the Pokemon Center, because I want to check this out. If not, that's freaking hilarious. It's 103. Yes, yeah, it's the same route. See? I knew it! I just worded it wrong. I knew it was a different route, I just- it's just not a- like a new route. There you go. Anyways, I would I would like to resume saying what I was originally saying. I wish there was a new route here. I want to get a new Pokemon, but nope. It also doesn't split right here for whatever reason. A oh, Watmon berries. Not plural. <laughs> Singular. Is that the one? If you use natural gift with Watmon berries, I think that it turns into a fire move, right? Is that what it is? I don't know. That's a whole Tauros. This Pokemon always intimidates me when I see it. Not just because it's ability, like it, it genuinely scares me. A Weedle? Okay, not this Pokemon though. This one, not as much. <laughs> just hate that Pokemon Weedle for striking fear into my heart. All right, this May fight, I really hope that we're just able to do it. My plan for the Cloyster, because it does have that fire move, right? Unless it learned more moves between like level five and now. I cannot use this thing. I don't know. I might actually just use Raticate against it. And try to lock on Horn Drill. I don't know. Hopefully it's not level 20. Because if it's higher level, we can't do that. Hi Super, long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So how about a little battle? Sure, sure, sure. Alright, homegirl. Clerk Wellington. Ekans. All right. So, oh, it's level 18. So that means her ace is probably going to. Well, wait. I can't remember. I'm 19. I feel like it's level 20 though, or her Pokemon's level 20. So we might be out of luck here. Oh well. Let's just get through the Ekans as fast as possible. Not really too worried about the Ekans. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right. That's not. That's not worrisome. Here's an Ampharos though. Okay. Uh. Let's go, Hot Rod. I think she'll keep the Cloister, right? I mean, I would know if I fought her in Rustboro. I intentionally didn't, which is probably a stupid idea. I probably should have fought her, but whatever. But if she would have had the Cloister in that battle, then we would have known. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Come on, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Please. Why? <laughs> of course it has to have a fire move. It seems like every freaking Pokemon in this game has to have a fire move. 
every single Pokemon's got. Ember, Flamethrower. I, I don't know what it is, dude. Everyone's a Firebender. It, like, honestly makes me not feel bad about using Lock on Horn Drill. I'm doing that right now to this homegirl. Homegirl, you are getting absolutely destroyed. You can drink that milk all you want. You're still getting drilled. Okay, that sounded really, really awful. That sounded really off. I'm getting a little too, a little too excited. <laughs> All right, uh, show me that cloister. Show me level 20 also. Show me level 20. Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to mess around with this thing. Yeah, the, the green cloister. It's level 20. Cool. So I'm hoping that that doesn't do that much. It doesn't. Perfect, and we should be good this turn unless... Yep, we're good. Ain't no way that move can kill, so <laughs> of course we're good. All right. Well, good job, Cheeks, for basically slaying out that entire team with freaking horn drill, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We just got one shot. Are you kidding me? Everything has fire moves. Oh, no. It just really sucks that it's the starter. I also hate losing, the, like, the Pokemon that are custom textured because they look so cool and it's like having like a legendary or something on your team it feels special using them and then they just die like i don't know it seems like these custom textures are just one shot magnets it's, it's just bound to happen all the time all right well we have to make another unfortunate deposit into the death box a very very unfortunate deposit also something i do want to talk about a lot of people have been questioning in the comments um about the the play along save file it's completely normal that you don't have the same starters as me. It's completely normal that it's a different game. That I did that intentionally so that way people can't spoil like future battles in the comments or something. Um, but after I do finish this series, I think I'm going to release this save file so you guys can play along if you want to and play the one that we played on the playthrough. Because a lot of people wanted to have the custom texture starters, but I just wanted to make your guys' different, uh, your guys' experience completely different when you're playing along just so I don't know, I didn't want it to repeat too much because I thought it'd be more interesting. Maybe I was wrong, but yeah, it is intentional and you, like you didn't mess up. The ROM is it's supposed to be different. Um, do I want to add any of these Pokemon to the team? I, I'm very, very sad about this still. Rest in peace, Hot Rod. Press F in the comments for Hot Rod. Homeboy is unfortunately not with us anymore, but it's all right. Um, we are about to get some encounters when we continue on to Mauville City next episode, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to hold it on adding any uh, Pokemon to the team, and I'm just going to call it an episode. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, if we get it like 750 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, yeah, peace out.